This is yet another damning allegations against the Nigerian government and this time Amnesty International is blaming the death of almost 4,000 people on the government. Of the concern that you know, human rights organizations like Amnesty International is bringing before the government to address some of these problems. Sometimes some of the government officials, they are just quick in dismissing the findings rather than to study some of these reports and then be able to take proactive measures. In fact, as a matter of fact, some of the government officials, both at local, state, and national level, rather than protecting these victims, they engage in all sorts of um, you know, uh, political you know, games with the lives of Nigerians. Many of them, they get this early warning of these attacks, because these attacks then just come just like that. There are signs, there are some early warnings. But failure for them to do that, continue to generate the situation. And with the large chunk amount of money, in, you know, in the name of security boards, which many of them at the state, at local and national level are managing, they are clearly misplacing the, mis the, the use of uh, security boards. We wonder if really the resources that the government at its hands is being effectively used to deal with this matter, if it is being used, probably by now will have come to an end to this. But In its new report, Harvest of Death, three years of bloody clashes between farmers and headers, Amnesty International said it found that 57% of the 3,641 recorded deaths occurred in 2018. It added that security forces were often positioned close to the attacks which lasted hours and sometimes days, yet were slow to act. In some cases, security forces had prior warning on an imminent raid, but did nothing to stop or prevent the killings, lootings, and burning of homes. <laughs> Country director of Amnesty International, Osayo Jigo, did not mince words in her speech while accusing the federal government of gross incompetence. The clashes between headers and farmer communities had taken a deadly and bloody turn. Throughout the year, more reports about other attacks in other communities across the country showed a pattern that was not only shocking, but worrying. As at the time we completed our research, 2018 alone had over 2,000 deaths. The Nigerian government has displayed what can only be described as gross incompetence and has failed in its duty to protect the lives of its population and end the intensifying conflict between herders and farmer communities. The two main alleged characters in the farmers' headers clash were not left out of the scene of the amnesty's report. So, so uh, because of the media profiling today, each and every community in the country is seeing the pastoralist as a troublemaker, as a criminal. While he is not, he is at the receiving end of this crisis. He moves with all he has in this world. He moves with the family, he moves with the children, he moves with the cow, which is his only, which is his sole, only source of livelihood to him. So you cannot expect somebody who moves with his wealth and his family to steer trouble for him to get killed and his wealth vandalized. He is always a victim of this crisis. Uh, Flanny headers and the security agency. Like they are colluding because some instances, like that of the last year um, attack where 29 people were killed in Kedong Grove village, where they called the farmers to enter inside classroom for protection, but they failed in protecting these people. At last, 29, we lost 29 inside that classroom, including women, children, and aged parents were killed. Amnesty International started documenting clashes between farmers and headers from January 2016. Between August 2017 and September 2018, researchers conducted 10 field trips to 56 villages in five states. Emmanuel Bagudu, PTV News, Abuja.